Now, a Target 12 investigation. Several current and former Rhode Island politicians were fined hundreds or even thousands of dollars as a result of a recent Board of Elections campaign finance audit. The campaign auditing process began about five years ago after a powerful former lawmaker went to jail for stealing money and accepting bribes. Target 12 investigator Tolly Taylor joins us now with what he's uncovered. John Marion of Common Cause Rhode Island says the Board of Elections has increased the number of candidate audits. At the board's most recent meeting, it handed out fines for unreported contributions and transactions. Former House Speaker Gordon Fox was investigated by the FBI and was convicted of federal charges after stealing more than $100,000 in campaign contributions and accepting bribes. After that, the General Assembly passed a law requiring candidates to turn over their campaign bank statements each year. And if campaign candidates don't fully report uh, their contributions or their expenditures, you know, we can't be fully informed voters. At a November 2nd meeting, the Rhode Island Board of Elections issued fines for campaign violations. Among them, former Democratic State Representative Moira Walsh, who was fined $750. She now has 180 days to pay it from personal funds. There were, a, you know, a significant number of contributions that had been made to her campaign that she hadn't reported. For Johnston Town Council member Robert Russo, the board zeroed in on a $22,000 loan that they say Russo mishandled. As a result, the board fined Russo $2,000. This is a, a, a fairly significant amount of money for the Board of Elections to be finding somebody. Walsh and Russo did not respond to multiple requests for comment. Two-time state Senate candidate Jennifer Douglas was fined $1,200 for failing to report 40 transactions. In a statement to Target 12, Douglas writes, I made a mistake and I'm completely okay with paying the fine because this is how we have better transparency in campaign finance reporting. To the voters, I will say that I will always work hard to do my best but if I make a mistake, I will own it. Douglas says the board acknowledged that she did not knowingly do anything fraudulent and reveals she was going through a difficult personal time when she made the mistake. With the Target 12 investigators, I'm Tolly Taylor, 12 News.